everybody and welcome back today we are going to be looking at uh, measurements unit of measure imperial metric however you want to look at it um, this goes along with creating objects to scale so say like our house for instance um, you could change everything to suit and then build a house to scale basically um, so we're going to be deleting that cube first so we get rid of that um, and then we're going to just going to create a plane okay um, so, okay so let's just go straight into the units of measure um, so you can find those in the scene properties which is like the little cone the cylinder the, the little world and the whatever that is um, and we go down to units okay so the unit system yours may be as standard set on none um, so you can either use metric or imperial. I'm a metric person. Um, and then unit scale, we'll just leave that to one. And then down here, we've got our different units. So we've got rotation length, mass, and time. So mine, I'm just going to leave as meters. And you can see there, kilometers, meters, centimeters, millimeters, micrometers. But if you was to have it in imperial, you would have it in feet inches and I'm presuming that's thousandths thousandths of an inch something like that maybe I don't know um, so let's just change those back to metric and meters okay keep an eye on the scale here because we're gonna we want it to like a, a scale of one all the way through so imagine we were going to be doing our wall I mean how thick is a how thick is a wall? Say 250. Um, so 0 0.25. Um, we'll just start at that 0 0.25 wide. Okay, so you can see here our scale has gone down to 0 0.25. Um, so what we need to do is just control A and you can either just reset scale or rotation. I normally just reset both rotation and scale. As you can see here, our scale's gone back to one. Now how do you see the measurements on your plane here? Well you can't at the moment. What we need to do is go up to the top here with the show overlays. Um, click on the drop down box. This is if you're using um, 2.8. Um, okay so we need to go into edit mode first. Okay click on the drop down box and down here you've got edge length. So if you come down to measurement and then edge length and then tick that on you can see here 0 0.25 and you can see there two meters let's just get that out of the way so our length there is two meters so now you've got your lengths going on there so we can just select number two and hit that edge there now your edge disappears okay um so it comes back when you start moving you can see there so we can have a wall which is around about which is five meters okay and then a doorway what is that like about a meter wide say um so we just extrude on the y and this will give you a new measurement as you can see there so we're at one meter there and then extrude again for your next wall and oh, on the Y so you can see there maybe we want it three and a half meters and there we go so you can see there that we had one one meter three and a half and five meters I think it was anyway if we go back in to uh, select all so we just select a to select all and as you can see here all your measurements come up on your length so that one was five meters long then we got a doorway which is one meter and then we've got our next wall which is 3.5 meters and that is how you can build your house with real-time measurements um, you can just sort of carry on 
Um, but if you did want to bring a plan, a house plan in um, for reference only, I wouldn't build on it because um, you can do, let's come out of, go back into object mode, do shift A. And then if you come down to image, you could do images as plane. Um, and then I've not got a, um, a plan to hand actually. <laughs> but you can select your image, JPEG, PNG file. Um, I've got the keyboard image, so I'm just going to import that. And then you can see there you you got your it will show up. So you can use that as like a reference image. Maybe your drawing has got the measurements on there, and then you, you can just put them down to um, your planes below. So let me just go back into there, go back into edit. But one thing is for sure, just keep an eye on your scale here, and always make sure they're set to one, otherwise it's just going to put your um, drawing out. Anyway, I hope you found this um, video of use. Um, if you did, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Ta-da for now.